Well, hello everyone. Um, just to let you know, tonight the Mithras game had to be cancelled, um, mainly because um, there was mics problems, not as in a player mic, but microphone problems. So I thought what I would do is um, do one of my vaguely creative um, streams and in this one I thought it'd be fantastic to have a look at how I create the tokens for Roll20. So here I am um, inside Photoshop. Now if I use Photoshop but I'm sure any other um, art package would do exactly the same things as I'm doing. So you can see one of my tokens ready made here. Now the first thing that I will show you is that the image size of this, this is quite big. It's a scary picture of me but it's actually 1000 pixels by 1000. When I first started to do this I used to make them tiny but then they used lose um, or lost all sense of clarity when they were um, stretched. So start with a document that is about 1000 by 1000. Okay, now I'm just going to hide um, this. And well, I tell you what, look, let's go right from the beginning. Let me start a new one. And let's say it's 1000 by 1000. Let's create it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is come over to the circle tool. And I'm going to click that and I'm going to left click and drag out a circle. Now what I'm going to do is press my, hold my shift key down so it keeps the um, a circle without going to oval. Now that's a bit too close to the edges so I'm just going to press um, control T and that will let me to transform it slightly and then I, I just want a bit of space around the outside and press the tick there. Okay so this is all black which is no good to me at all so I'm going to go up to the fill and make the fill transparent and then click the stroke and pick a blue color and for the width I'm going to put um, like 40 so you can see there now it's started to take shape. Now the next thing I'm going to do is click this little lock and I'm going to delete that back layer because I want it to be transparent. Now this in itself looks quite dull so in order to jazz it up a bit and I did this beforehand and it all went wrong so fingers crossed that it will work today. Um, I go down to the special effects and the first thing that I do is that I add a bit of a bevel. Okay, now um, you can probably see it starting to take um, shape a bit. And this, it's an inner bevel smooth. I'm just increasing the depth a bit and then increasing the size. Um, just to almost like give that three dimensional effect. Okay, so that, there it is. We've got a bit of a token, but I'm not finished yet. So the next thing I do is that I go back to the special effects and this time I add a pattern. Now this is the pattern that I use and you can see it's a bit um, woodeny and sort of like um, looks a bit metallic. Uh, I'm just going to um, increase that slightly and then once I've got this pattern on here the next thing I do is add a texture. And the texture I'm using is this, uh, well, I think it's just w the first one that comes up, but you can practice and change it. So you can see now I've got a bit of a copper, a copper outlook on it. And then that's my um, token outside that's going to increase, oops, too much, increase the, um, the dimensions of it. Um, I think I might go um, 50 let's have a look oh 50 is cool yeah okay then so now the next thing you need to do is that you need to rasterize the layer I think that's how you um, call it what you call it and so you do this by right clicking and then just up here it says rasterize layer and I click that now this is really important because it's going to allow us to select inside and outside the token so the next thing we need a picture to go in the middle of the token. So here's me clutching my neck. I'm going to take the select tool and drag it over, unlock the layer because otherwise I won't be able to copy it. Control C to copy the picture and then come back into here and control V to paste it. 
Now you can see now that it's it's on top and then I'm going to do control T and I'm just going to um, stretch it and move it around. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to take the layer, left click and drag it underneath the token ring. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just to line it up so I'm happy with it in there. So that, that looks fine. So we'll select that and click OK for that. Right, next here comes the, the interesting bit. So I'm going to click back onto my layer and I'm going to go over here and go to um, cl um, click the magic wand tool. And I'm going to click on the outside of the token. So you can see now it's selected all the way around the outside of the token. Then what I do is that I click back onto my picture layer. And then once I'm on my picture layer, I just click delete. And what it does, it deletes everything on that picture layer out that has been selected that we selected with the magic pen tons. so you can see my token is ready now what i actually do is keep that token circle there and just drag in new pictures all the time but you might be thinking oh i don't like the color of that how do i change the color well that is actually just a color overlay and if you go to the fx command in your circle again and go up to color overlay you can see mine's selected on orange at the moment and it comes out orange if i wanted a nice blue or a deep blue then i can just press that if i wanted a nice green i think i quite fancy a green one on this then select green and then okay and okay it and there you go that's all there is to control d will deselect it all and then all you need to do is file um, export a quick export or export it as a PNG and that's it there's nothing else to it now all I would do therefore is cut and paste new images below the, the circle and then just do the same again so it's just um, magic pen to select outside and then click on your um, picture and then delete and it's interesting if I take away the um, frame then you can see my picture is now perfectly circular underneath so i hope that was helpful for you i hope you can go away and use um, your own art package to make your own tokens for the use in your online game i hope that's been helpful until next time please remember to enjoy role playing that was a bit of a rubbish ending i'll see you all later guys bye